llena de sangre el cuerpo, todo, y al ver cómo estaba balanceado todo, y las perforaciones que hicieron, tiene una, un balazo por aquí así, otro en la boca, otro por acá, bueno, está todo deshecho el muchacho, brazos quebrados, el cuerpo, todo, bueno, no sé qué, anoche no, no podía descansar porque esa imagen se me venía a la mente, que era por primera vez, después de dos años que nunca lo vi, no, no pude verlo en el cerro ni en ningún lado, y cuando nos lo entregaron la motoria, porque incluso nos lo querían entregar el cajón sellado por lo mal que estuvo, lo más que lo prepararon, lo más que pudieron allí, pero ya su cara, ya era la masa, nada más como lo arreglaron. Pero al ver esa imagen ayer ahí en la corte, me redombó a mí, no, no hallaba qué hacer y, y todavía ando pensando en esa imagen, que cómo va a ser posible que él le siguiera tirando a ellos con 59 balazos y que todavía les estaba apuntando y un maldito policía dijo todavía que de qué estaba hecho ese muchacho que, que parecía que estaba hecho de acero porque con 59 balazos todavía se mantenía parado y apuntándoles no es una vergüenza aquí para, para la ley y, y, y si así seguimos qué va a ser de nuestros hijos de nuestros nietos o qué vamos a esperar o qué nos espera aquí a todos los que vivimos aquí en San Francisco otras tragedias tan, tan grandes de las que han pasado y lo más porque no hay aquí imagen, video que eran destrozarnos así teniendo todas las pruebas, todas las imágenes todo se les portó allí en la mesa y lo peor, que ni uno no hubo evidencia para él nada. El jurado se fue todo profundamente para allá. Gracias. Gracias. It was in the courthouse when I first saw the images of my son, the bullets that had perforated his temple, his body, his broken arms, his broken legs, his body destroyed. The young man had been destroyed. And how is it possible with that evidence of the bullets in his body that they even wanted to deliver my son at the mortuary in a sealed coffin of what they had done to him? How is it possible that the police sustain, sustain a story in which Alex withstood standing 59 bullets? How could he do that? How could he do that? And that a jury would find in favor of the police. How is it possible? It's a shame it on the city. A shame on the city. And we need to understand that this is a danger to our grandchildren, to all of us, to our children. It's a shame on the city. But it's not over. No justice, no peace. So I think it would be fair to say that Ben and I are like the yin and yang of the <laughs> Justice for All is the Eto Coalition. So, I want to read you also a little bit about what I experienced. I want to tell you about the facts of this case. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Today, a jury decided that four SFPD officers did not use excessive force in shooting Alex Nieto to death with 59 bullets fired in two distinct sets of volumes. I am, like you, disappointed by the jury verdict. But I know that if you are here, it is because you knew we were fighting within the system against systemic racism and injustice. But you also knew that it was, and it is, our duty to fight for our freedoms. Yes, yes, yes. 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 
I want to give you a little bit of context for this trial. Fact, police misconduct trials are incredibly uncommon. No one can recall when was the last time that a police brutality case made it to a trial stage. The Nieto case is a historic judicial precedent that will stand as an impactful fight against police brutality in San Francisco. Yes, 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 yes. Fact. Of those cases admitted into court, a portion are dismissed by the judges because they don't find sufficient evidence. In the Nieto case, the judge said there was sufficient evidence for a jury to find in our favor. The largest portion of the cases that make it into a court are settled out of court. And many with a gag order, so we never learn the evidence. Fact, the odds were always against us. Nearly 70% of civil and police misconduct cases that go to trial are won by the police. Because the juries favor the police. And in police brutality cases, this says most about society and the least about the facts and evidence. So I want you to understand the facts. Fact, this case blew the cover off a police cover up. It took five months to get the autopsy report, but we got it. Right. It took nine months to get the names of the officers who killed Alex Nieto, we and we now. got them. In fact, it was in court that for a court order that gave that ruling, and because of it, they can't keep the names of other officers confidential. We will always be able to hold our heads up high and talk with conviction about the evidence that another jury, a fair jury, an unbiased jury, could have found to favor the Nietos. Yeah. Officer Richard Chip shot 23, 23 bullets at Alex Nieto. Lieutenant Jason Sawyer shot 20 bullets at Alex. Officer Nathan Shu shot 11 bullets at Alex. Officer Roger Morse shot 11, five bullets at Alex. In total, these four SFPD officers shot 59 bullets at Alex. And they claim that throughout, he stood in a punched out tactical position. He was a threat. He was a threat. He got shot in his chest, in his head, in his hands. How could he keep doing this? Impossible. 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 Impossible.